Okay, so now we're gonna go over a couple of defenses when I go for an arm bar, if someone locks their hands together, so I can no longer hyperextend their, their arm, I have to deal with the grip. So we're going to end up in arm bar position, and our opponent locks their hands together. There's a lot of different ways you can lock today. We're just going to keep it simple. He locks his hands with an S grip or gable grip or whatever. So the first one I'm going to go over is very simple. I'm going to take my arm that's closest to his hips. I'm going to thread it in deep. That same side foot now, I'm going to put it on the crook of his elbow. From here, this hand is going to lock onto my forearm, the other hand onto his wrist. I'm going to push with my foot and pull with my back to an arm bar. Okay, so again, this is called a Kimura grip. It is optional. You could just use a regular grip if you wanted, but Kimura grip's a little bit um, tighter. I push on the crook of his elbow with my foot to break, to go back for the arm bar. Okay, another very basic one is called, I used to call it like, um, like a scissor counter. I put one foot through, one foot through. So I'm making a scissor with my legs. I have a foot on each side. I'm just gonna push my knees and my feet straight forward and pull back with my back. So one more time. One, two, and pull, okay? So that's two different ways to get out if someone is locking their hands together and you're attempting to armbar them.